Welcome back guys, um, just got back in, looking to do a few things today. Um, last r video I had, I ran dead mines, did a, a few things out of there, um, got some really good loot, that was kind of, that was kind of wild, honestly. Um, but, you know, thanks Officer Jackson. Um, anyways, uh... So what I'm looking to do today is head back over to Westfall. I might do some quick dead mine runs again just to kind of get the rest of my quest done. And then I'll probably make my way over to um, Red Ridge to finish out some of the quests there. And then I think to wrap up the video, um, the last part of it is that I've, I've been kind of putting off and I know I need to do is make my way over to Wetlands then to dark shore and then finally try to try to get the darnassus uh i think that's probably the end goal for this video it's a long trek to make it over there but um you know i oh I, I think i think that's where i'm going to for it today so let's just get some things going we'll get started and yeah we'll see how everything pans out All right, so I got a group together to come down here and try to do this uh, collecting memories and no brother quest. So we're gonna see if we can get that knocked out, and then I'm probably gonna run dead mines with this group afterwards. I'm gonna need on it for now, fuck it. You need something? Well done, adventurer. On behalf of the people's militia, I salute you for your efforts. Soon we will return this land to the people with help from brave souls like you. Edit the storm one. Get my level 20 talents and turn in these quests. My suspicions were correct, my poor brother. Oh, well, thank you for bringing some conclusion to this mystery, even if the conclusion was grim. Thank you for collecting these, adventurer. Your efforts will help bring peace to the dead in the wake of this tragedy. I will see to it that the families are notified. 
I trust the light is with you, adventurer. Is there something that I can I help you with? We were forced to learn some magics to protect us from what is commonly called our greatest enemy, the Arcane. I would teach you a spell to help you defend yourself and your companions from those who would wield such power. The feedback would be pretty decent for PvP. Alright, so I got a new spell. It's feedback. And I want to add it into my tell me when. So an easy way to go about doing that is tell me when. I can either drop it into one of these empty slots. Or if I want to create new slots, I can right click on an existing icon. And I can create like more rows within that slot. So I can go over here to group. Scroll down to right here where it says rows and columns. If I want to make a column, I can slide this slider over and you can see it make it makes more rows right here. Uh, if I want to make less rows, I can just drag it back. Um, it's pretty much that easy. If I want to make rows that go up and down, I can move these and they move up and down. I don't want to do that. I like them sideways, so that's how I like to work mine. Also, if I want to move the icon, I can just hold right click on the existing icon drag it over to the new slot, let go of right click, and then click move here. It'll move that icon to that slot. I can also left click on an empty slot or an icon, it doesn't really matter, and I can drag the whole thing around. So if I wanna drag it back over here, and I like where that's at, I can leave it there. And then if I wanna add an existing spells, there's two ways you can do about that. I can right click the empty slot, all right? And I can go here and go to spell cooldown, right? Another way you can do it, is you can right click the empty slot you don't even have to really do anything with that you can open up your spell book you can go to the spell itself which is feedback and i can drag it and i can drop it into that slot now it puts that under spell cooldown feedback you can see it right here it's the same difference if i were to select it from here um and yeah that's pretty much it so there's nothing I need to add for conditions on this or anything. So that's pretty much it for spell for uh, feedback. Um, it's a spell cooldown. I just want to be able to see when it's off cooldown without having to stare down here. I want a little small icon that's nice and noticeable for me, and that's that's how I'm gonna use it. So um, you can hit OK, black slash T M W for tell me when, and you lock it all up. The last thing I want to tell you with anything you do with tell me when or even anything you do with like uh, getting new skills in general. Like I just got my level 20 talents from the priest trainer here is um, if you got kicked off of like if you if you DC or disconnect it from the game right now, it would kind of reset a lot of your things. So the easiest way to go about saving your progress on all that is do a quick log. You log out log back in and it'll save all your tell me when progress and anything you put on your hot bars that includes if you did macros too, any macros you made along the way um any of these macros and stuff like that it'll it'll save those macros if you made a macro and then you got disconnected it could erase that macro and erase any progress that you did on tell me when along as well as anything you put on your hot bar so Quick way to do that. That's what I'm going to do next is log out, log back in just to save all my progress. And then, yeah, I'm uh, go from there. My rival Morganth is a vicious mage of great power who lives in the tower of Ilgalar in Redridge. I have developed a means of spying on him, the Eye of Azora, and can now view him from afar. But to study his thoughts, I require further aid. If you are willing, then take my glyph of Azora to the Tower of Ilgalar. Place it upon the lion statue near the tower. When this is done, the power of Azora will grant visions of Morganth's future plans. The Blackrock clan must be destroyed. The enemy has invaded our lands. These mountains fall under the sovereign right of the King of Stormwind. Our sources tell us that the leaders of each unit within the clan are known as champions. You'll find them in their encampment to the north, just west of the road to the Burning Steps. Magistrate Solomon wants these foul brutes dead. Slay 15 Blackrock champions and return to me. 
The Black Rock orcs have traveled from the Burning Steps and claimed Stonewatch Keep to the north. From there, they maraud the areas north of Lakeshire and keep its citizens in town penned like cattle. Help rid Lakeshire of this menace. Kill these Black Rock orcs and bring me ten of their battle-worn axes as proof. And although Black Rocks threaten us from the north, we've received reports of more in the southeastern pocket of Red Ridge. If you find any there, then they too should be hunted. What can I do for you? Be careful. I do say, this is not good at all. I did not realize that Stout Mantle's situation was not unlike ours here in Lakeshire. What action is so important that it calls the Stormwind army away from its people? Bah, I should not ponder aloud. Here, messenger. Accept these coins in exchange for your service to the township. I might call upon you again. I require your assistance once again. I have written to Lord Ebonlock, requesting that he sends his trained guards the Night Watch to help with Lakeshire's defense. It is imperative this message makes it to him swiftly. You must exercise extreme caution. Ebonlock is the mayor of Darkshire in the heart of Duskwood. Do not stray from the roads. Murlocs are becoming a problem. Larger groups of the fishermen are dropping anchor along the shores of Lake Everstill and fishing up a storm. We need them gone before they eat all the fish in the lake. Hunt murlocs. Bring me eight of their fins and I might have something for you. Once again, my garden was trampled and pillaged. And I know the brute who is doing it. It's that forsaken boar, the one Marshal Maris has taken to calling Belly Grub. I won't be able to replant the daffodils until next season now. Ruined. All ruined by that one menacing boar. Put an end to that pest. Show me his tusk and I'd be happy to reward you. He seems to spend his time foraging in the field southwest of Lakeshire, but occasionally he roams over here and into my garden. Hello. Finally, the menace is laid to rest. Thank you, adventurer. You have done me a great service. The garden shall be in full bloom this season. Where'd you work off? Uh, um, I'm over here in Redbridge getting Murloc skills for this quest. The Murloc pins? Yeah. I need them too. I'm getting on. I'm coming to help. <clears throat> oh shit, that's horde. Let's see if we can get some content for you real quick. I'm getting out of here. I'm out. Oh, it is. Is he 25? Yeah, they're 25. Huh. I'm down. Are you, you over there by the uh, the toolbox, or are you over there on the right side by the the knolls? Oh, he's doors. chasing these, these, oh, poor warrior, 21 warrior getting chased by 225s. Uh, I'm over here by the, the Murlocs. Well, there's two areas for him, so I'm trying to... Uh, the one area. over here to the side, yeah. Alright, I'm on the way. Let's go over here, because they're still on this, let's go to this other spot. They're higher level Murlocs over here, and I kind of could use the more experience over here. Yeah, well, they're higher, they're closer level to us, anyway. Yeah. So I'd rather just kill these. Bunch. They don't re they don't respawn as quick though too. And I ain't gonna get killed by these horde over here. So. Um maybe you wanna do Shadow Fang Keep? I might have Yeah, I gotta run all the way over there. I don't have none of that open up yet. I don't either. I'd have to run all the way over. It'd take us a while. Uh, not, uh, yeah. What's the fastest way to get up there? Cause that's a long run, ain't it? Cause you gotta run from, pretty much from Iron Forge, run all the way north. Yep, the road, right? that's pretty much the fastest way to get there. You know, we got the flight pass, so we gotta make the truck. That's a hike. Yeah. 
Oh, horde rogue. The 25 horde rogue right there. Let's jump him. Jump him. Damn, I didn't get a chance to dot him. Probably kill the shit out of me, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you need something? Well done, adventurer. I hope you didn't have too much trouble with those murlocs. It's strange seeing them so far from the sea. I wonder if they're here, because they're running from something. Let's uh do you still gotta do Yaller and stuff like that? I've already done Yaller. Okay. Here, I picked up this quest too. Um, where are you at? I'm going to share the couple quests with you. Yeah, so I don't have them. Oh, it won't let me share that one. You'll have to pick it up yourself. Never mind. Where's, where's that? It's over in, if you go to L1 Forest, uh -huh. and that watchtower that's in the middle of L1 Forest right there, it's like a Zura's watch or whatever. Uh, it doesn't say the name there, but when you get there, it should say Tower of Azor. If you, like, hover over it, you can see it in the top of your map or whatever. But you go in there, and you can pick up this quest. It's called, like, um, what is it? Shoot. It is called A Watchful Eye. You already done Yaller, haven't you? I'm gonna help you with that. Let's go do it. Yeah. Let's get you caught up. Um, we'll go for the Mystic first. Or you mean, I can sap that Alpha, or you mean try to yeah, sap Yaller? Yeah. Either or, you can probably. Well, Yaller's twenty five, so it might be hard to sap him. You might be better off sapping the the Alpha, alpha. and then we kill the Mystic real quick just to keep from that damage, and then we can we can tank the two. Okay. That works. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, let me let me do this real quick. Hang on. Let me. Uh... Oh, he resisted it. Never mind. Go for the. <laughs> I was gonna soothe his ass so you can get in closer to sap. I'm gonna fear these two. Just kill the mystic. Oh, this is easy to kill. I ain't right. What should I get out of combat? I guess I go for the alpha next. Get him yeah. Oh god, I, I got another one. Yeah, I'm gonna stay alive. Just work on doing whatever you gotta do. I'm gonna have to drink a potion. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna fear again, don't worry. Oh shit. I got Desert Prayer, but I'm out of mana, so. Alright, yeah, there it is. See if I can still aggro from it. Should be fine. We should be fine. Best done, come on, three. Speed right. 
was a little rough, but we made it. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. All right. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't like old Merc guy. I want to get this 10 VIN real quick. It's popped up. <laughs> yeah, that Merc guy fight was. Aggro this, aggro that. Run. Gouge this. Run, run, run. Hey there. Again, thank you for your help. The Stormwind Green. army is That's so nice. busy dealing with the orcs, they don't have the troops to protect Redridge from local threats like the Knolls. Alright. Let's go hit up, I guess. You want to do that escort quest up here? Have you done that yet? Which one? You talking about where I had the axes? Uh, yeah, up there with the Black Rock champions and stuff. Yeah, no, I haven't done it. I need to go do the axes too, so we can just kill two birds with one stone and do that. That's like three birds right there with one stone. Let's go do that. Oh, uh, 25. Let's see if I can save him. Can't, uh, he's dead. I can't get over there. I'll aggro everything if I go over there for him. Yeah, this is going to be a hard quest. Oh, no, I'm out of ammo. Do you have to actually have ammo for your stun? Fear in a second. I'm about out of am Mana. I got that one. Here, I got it for it. Back up. Oh, oh you hit him. I got improved gouge, so you got some. Time we're good. We're it. good. We're good. We can just take him. Misses in a row. That was horrible. All right, can I make some crafted shots real quick on here? Yeah, I think I'm yeah, gonna buff up. Yep, I can make crafted shots. This here. is gonna be rough. So you want to start around this right side by this champion here? Yeah, we're gonna have to jump straight down and do it over here. This warrior's drunk. <laughs> Why is the warrior drunk? It just, uh, since it's New Year's, right? He, uh, went ahead and grabbed the, uh, the brew probably in Stormwind. It gives, like, a stamina buff, I think. There he is. At last! Friends of the Alliance, help, please. The last thing I remember, these foul orcs overpowered our regiment. Most of the men were killed. I took a strong blow to the head and everything went black. Now I'm held captive in this cave. You can heal help him, right? me, I'm hurt badly. Yeah. I'll need help getting back to town. Please, you're my last hope. Goodbye, Anil. Back, bring him 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 back. Oh shit, he aggroed way too much. I'm gonna keep him alive right now. Yep, I'm gonna work on it. I'm about the fear of these guys that I can fear because they're all gonna kill me if I don't get them all off me. I need to kill the imp. I got two back on me. Hey, he 
AK aggroed that champion. Oh, we're good. Tracker. Yeah, this probably would have been rough if we didn't have this warrior on the way out, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he, he, well, he, oh, no, I just DC'd, motherfucker. How many times does that prayer many bounce? Five times. Is that what it's always been? Yep. Well met. You have served the kingdom well, adventurer. Thank you for assisting Corporal Keishin with his escape from those dreaded Blackrock orcs. You shall be rewarded for your brave acts this day. All right. So, two horde noobs at Knolls. <laughs> I didn't get all the axes. Neither did I. We can go back up here and do that. I just need four more axes. I need three. Smite ding me level 21. Let's see. You have bubble from 21. Let's what are you see. Now? Um, what quest is this? I don't know. Oh, Black Rock Bounty. You have it too. You can turn it in right here. Oh, I do have it. I see you have fought valiantly against the Black Rock Clan, adventurer. Your service to our township is great indeed. That did ding me level 21, so. How many bubbles were you from 21? Uh, 21. one bubble. Yeah, see, I'm two and a half bubbles. Like, you don't surpass. But they gave me one, that gave me one and a half bubbles, so. Yeah, that means it's not gonna ding me. <laughs> yeah, it might not, but. Whatever. Uh, gives you. Okay. Yeah, I got need exactly a bubble. So what it gave me was a bubble and a half. I'm just barely into the next bu that last bubble. Here later, I'm going to take out a wand damage, and I'm going to go straight into uh, Unbreakable Will, so I can resist stun, fears, and silence effects. I think this stacks up to 15% increased stun, fear, and silent reset, or, yeah, silent effects resist. So, 15% more, and that would be nice. But that's when I get level 25, and I get some gear and stuff like that. And I'm PvPing a little more. Yeah. Alright, so made it back. Turned in the quest. Um, kind of took a break for a little bit. Came back. It's New Year's Day. So, took a break from New Year's Eve. Um, had some... A little bit of fun with the family. So, we're gonna... Continue on this little... Quest... For the Black Rock Minutes, we're going to work on the Battle Axis, and then I'll probably make my way over here to Solomon's Law. So it's just me right now, um, and I'm going to see how much I can get done.
thought her friend. That makes for a lot fewer orcs to worry about, thanks. Blackrock Outrunners and Renegades are running ambushes between here and Stonewatch Keep. The leader of the Outrunners is an orc named Theral Zun. We want this orc. Bring me the head of Theral Zun. The Blackrock orcs enlisted Shadowcasters to aid their attacks in Redridge, and they have brought with them devices of dark power, Midnight Orbs. These orbs have struck telling blows against Redridge's defenders, and it's imperative we remove the demon-tainted items from the conflict. Find and deliver to me Midnight Orbs from slain Blackrock Shadowcasters. I will then have them disposed of, for this world would be a better place without them. What can I do for you? So the evil Lieutenant Fangor is dead? Good riddance to that foul creature. You are very brave, adventurer. The township of Lakeshire thanks you for your aid. Alright, so headed over to Darkshire to turn in this other part of this quest. I might be able to pick up a few quests here and start on these here soon in Dark... In Duskwoods. But yep, I'm gonna... Turn this in and see what... Else we have around here. Greetings. Thank you for making the long journey here. This is indeed important information. If I did not know Magistrate Solomon personally, I would say the man has gone mad. Send the Night Watch to Lakeshire because Stormwind refuses aid? The Night Watch was formed because Stormwind left us when this foul magic seeped into the land. If I sent my Night Watch, this town would be overrun by evil before the guards even reached the forest's edge. Take this letter of response to your master in Lakeshire. Well met. By the light! The Stormwind army retreated from Westfall, and the guard no longer protects Darkshire? There is some treachery abound. How could this be so? Oh, I forgot to reward your service, adventurer. Here are some coins. Now excuse me. Something is amiss in Stormwind, and I must get to the bottom of it. So, one of the things I was thinking about while I was flying back over here to Lake Shire is that a lot of these quests are still kind of higher level for me. I could probably go out here and knock out these pendants slowly. Um... But Dust Woods, a lot of those quests are kind of higher level for me too. So one area that I don't think is too high of a level for me and I'm going to have to go to eventually is to maybe make my way over to the wetlands and check out some of this. I can also run over here to Loch Moden and maybe knock out a few quests over here. I don't know. Um, I think that's probably the goal for this part. But it's a long trek to wetlands. So I might make the journey over in that direction. And just go ahead and knock it out now. I'm going to have to snag the flight pass anyways. I haven't been to Iron Forge yet. So we can give all of that a go. So I think that's where I'm heading right now. Just so I can get a few more levels under my belt. Hello, adventurer. You're here for the scouting mission, are you? Very good. I hope your gear is in good condition because this scouting mission has changed into something more messy. Orcs of the Dragonmoor clan have a haven in the wetlands, and now they have expanded into Dun Algaz. We can't let them keep their foothold here, or Loch Moden will be cut off from Menethil Harbour, our port and stronghold in the wetlands. Break through Dun Algas to the wetlands beyond and kill some orcs for good measure. Report to Valstag Ironjaw in Menethil Harbour. Menethil is through Dun Algas, then north along the road, then west at the fork. We're counting on you, adventurer. Do not fail.
Ah, same uh, warrior that helped me out a little bit ago. All right, so made it over halfway. Greetings, traveler. Don't suppose you might be heading in the direction of Menethil, would you? If you're not, I'd suggest you stop there. It's a good place to purchase goods and even have a pint and relax. Now, if it just so happens that you're heading in that direction, I don't suppose you'd mind taking this bundle of crocolisk skins to James Halloran, the tanner. I'd do it myself, but my wife's been in quite a mood lately, and I'd like to put off facing her as long as possible. Oh my! You must be the scout Longbraid said he would send! You cannot imagine how worried I have been. My wife Merrin has been sending me letters each week for the past month. She is part of the Welgar excavation team. But it has been nearly two weeks since her last correspondence. Surely something is wrong. Longbraid said that he would send a scout to check up on things if we did not hear from the team soon. I assume that scout is you, adventurer. Find Merrin at the excavation site to the east. Your report is full of bad news. I see the Dragon Moors are making a strong move into Algaz. Normally the Dragon Moors just hide up in the hills. What made them surge into Algaz is still a mystery. Thank you, adventurer, and we'll probably want your help dealing with these orcs. Need help? Light bless you. Hmm, this is from Einar, right? Hasn't delivered his skins to me in person for almost a week now. No doubt it's some differences with the wife. Maybe I'll have my wife go speak with Sita sometime. I'm James Halloran, the Tanner. My cured crocolisk skins are sought after all over, shipments leaving by boat to ports around the world. Met Einar? He's one of the hunters that brings crocolisk skins in for me. I'm a bit short on the softer skins that come off crocolisk young. Being that I'm running low, I'll pay you top coin for a stack of the skins. You can find the young crocs in the marshes, right outside of town. Murlocs are crawling out from the deep waters and building their villages on the coastline. They are harassing our fishers and merchants and must be stopped. One of these murlocs, Gobbler, skulks with other bluegill murlocs and Harry's merchants along the road, always then retreating to the safety of the nearby murloc hovels. Our merchants are in jeopardy, and we will pay to secure them. Gobbler prowls the river inlet north of here. Find him, slay his kin, and bring me his head. I was once first mate on the Wave Mistress, ship of the line in the Kultiris Third Fleet, the Doomed Fleet. Doomed, for on its last voyage the fleet was attacked by red dragons. Dragons controlled by orcs. We didn't stand a chance against that dragon fire, and our fleet was burned and sunk off this here coast. I'm the sole survivor of those poor vessels. <laughs> My head hammers and pounds. I'll need a fresh drink if I'm to get a handle on this hangover and continue my tale. You've heard of the Green Warden? You're not looking for him, are you? Well, I say you're crazy if you are. But who am I to keep a fool from his death? If you are seeking that beast, then I hear he is in the marsh, east of the road where it forks to Dunmotor. He's lurking there among the crocs, and worse. And leave your money here. You won't need it where you're going. And you don't want to chip old Greenie's tooth on your gold when he bites you in half, do you? On my weekly visit to Ironbeard's tomb, I was attacked by dreadful dripping oozes. Naturally, I panicked. I threw my bag at one, but it didn't do anything. The ooze just sucked it right up. Luckily, it did give me enough time to get away. The bad news is that I really need to get the contents of my bag. I don't know which ooze I threw my bag at. They all look the same. Ironbeard's tomb is northeast of here, near Dunmodder. Thank you so much. Ah, that hits the spot and loosens the tongue. Thanks, mate. I'm the sole survivor of the ill-fated third fleet of Kultiras, wrecked off the coast to the north. But although I'm the only member of the fleet still breathing, I'm not the only one still walking about. For on one of our ships was hidden a great and terrible treasure, and the eerie power of it keeps the souls of my brothers trapped within the ship's rotting hulls. But if you can free some of my brothers, then perhaps you can break their curse. Alright, you're gonna head over to Dark Shore.
get that flight path, and then make my way over to Darnassus. Yeah. All right, got everything I needed. Made it over here to, yeah, made it over here to Darnassus. Even got the world buff, which kind of helps out. So I think we're kind of good here. I might go ahead and hurt back to Stormwind. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, this has been kind of a little journey to get my, get over here. I made it to level 22 so um that's nice and i'll see if i can go pick up my level 22 skills and stuff like that but yeah that's uh where i think i'll probably call this episode done um just gonna keep sitting there plugging away and see if i can uh work on some more stuff I might go through edit this video up and fix it where i don't know maybe show you some of the highlights some of the things i came across there wasn't a lot of pvp between um last video and this video last video had a lot more but um this one's kind of more just me questing trying to make my way to level 25 so but yeah we'll call it done for now and um i appreciate everybody watching the video if you guys could like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys next time